Uh, my name is Juan Martinez and I'm from San Diego, California. So what kicked off photography for me was uh, the birth of my oldest daughter. Uh, but looking back and really thinking about it, I realized I used to shoot photos of my friends like going to Vegas and going clubbing and going out and doing, you know, skateboarding and things like that. I like to reach out to folks and, and, and learn more about them. So I met up with Pachola Francisco in order to buy a camera lens. And after that, I picked up the lens and we just stayed friends. We connected over, you know, just messaging like, hey, how's the lens working out for you? What camera did you get next? When we meet up at coffee shops and then I moved to North Park, California, and it's the craft beer capital of San Diego, basically. And so we started to meet up at craft beer places instead of me and him just at a coffee place. So we did that a few times, invited some friends, and then I thought, hey, why don't I start an Instagram account just to kind of get more folks to come and like share some of the photos that we take. And we went for like four people, and then we had 11 people at the second one and like 17. And then I was like, this is kind of cool. And then so I just kept going with it. I wanted to, to learn what other people shoot, what lenses they shoot with. And so meeting up at a brewery, um, like an event like that, you get to meet all sorts of people. And um, that's what kept it going. And that's what I think I fell in love with is like, who's gonna come next time? Like, you know, what delicious beer am I gonna have? But also what cool camera am I gonna see? And I'm gonna get to hold and play with, you know? That's what kept it going. Um, I would say that rangefinder became my favorite for shooting for myself, you know? Not for products, not for like a customer, but shooting for myself and my family and documenting the way I like. Um, range finders are the ones that I prefer. For this trip to Germany, I brought uh, the Leica M10R black paint, which is a beautiful camera. They're all beautiful cameras. Um, that's digital. And then we have the Leica M7, which is also the aperture priority range finder camera, which they don't make anymore, but I love this guy. Um, so once you shoot with medium format film, you realize the quality of the images are just amazing. So you gotta get you know, get yourself a medium format camera and the Hasselblad 500 CM is, is the one I like. And then for nighttime, <laughs> point and shoot, you know, uh, where I don't want to focus or I'm holding like a drink in one hand and I need just to take autofocus, um, the Leica Mini Lux. So it's a 40 millimeter lens, which is my favorite focal length for, you know, just doing anything. Um, so the Leica, the Leica Mini Lux. And then another digital camera for doing work and video, of course, and is also amazing to shoot. Uh, would be the Leica SL2, uh, specifically the SL2S, the 24 megapixel, the version with the high ISO performance and uh, the cool blacked out logo. It's plenty of cameras for uh, nine days, yeah. Film cameras are going to be even more expensive, but I do think that there's going to be a rise of um, the like the low, the low res cameras from the early 2000s, late 1990s. Um, the cameras that I used to take out with my friends to shoot, you know, random things with, I had it all in auto priority scene mode, you know, auto everything. I think they have an aesthetic that's kind of, it's going to come back. And I think that's going to be popular with um, the younger generation that's kind of getting older. I think they're going to see film with the film prices being what they are and the cameras being so expensive. I think it's going to kind of push some people away. So I definitely think in 20 years, low res cameras, with that unperfect aesthetic and just that look, I think that's gonna be kind of popular. I love analog photography. It kind of goes back to what I was saying about the, the lo-fi aesthetic. It's, a lot of times it is a lo-fi kind of vibe, right? You take the same image with the digital camera and you take it with the film camera. Same scene and it's gonna have a to totally di different feel. Um, resolution's gonna be different. Um, the way it, it interpreted the light is going to be different so the feel is just different and so I'm attracted to that and I like the process I like having you know mechanical beautiful mechanical things in your hand that you that invite you to shoot um, but again you can get that with digital too it's just beautiful digital cameras are, are more expensive typically I mainly shoot family and document events of people's lives that I care about to be honest um, I did do some paid work last year, but because it's not my everyday job, um, I felt it wasn't worth the stress of having to 
you know, I don't know, plan a shoot and try to incorporate that into my daily life because it pulled me away from family and friends. So now I mostly just document friends' lives and that's like the greatest gift I think I could give them is not because my images are amazing or anything, but I'm not shooting them on an iPhone and I think I like shooting so you can tell that, well, this person likes to shoot and they gave me a link of photos for my birthday, like that's pretty cool and I think they really appreciate it. And they can go and have fun and just let me hide behind the camera and, you know, document the, the party or the events my way.